Greetings to you, this is Rotary News and here Tatiana Svilaya with you. We continue to tell the story of Rotarian in first-person interview format. So, let me introduce you Chris Christie Hill from Rotary Club, College Station. Hello, Chris, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Chris, you are the director of the non-profit organization Program for Humanitarian Aid, which actively involved in the charity project for many years. How and to whom does your foundation help? Uh, Program for Humanitarian Aid has been working in Ukraine for about 15 years, uh, and we primarily today serve orphans and at-risk youth. In the beginning, our work was primarily uh, medical relief. We provided a lot of medical supplies uh, and a lot of hearing aids. That was before my wife, Christy, and I were involved in the work. Uh, but today, our work primarily consists of uh, helping orphans and at-risk youth. What motivates you to do this and why Ukraine? Uh, that's a good question. We are motivated by our faith. We are uh, primarily a faith-based organization that motivates us to, to serve uh, where we can and as we can. But why Ukraine is a difficult answer. I, my wife and I went on a trip to Ukraine and became involved, and it's just where we had the opportunity to serve. So it's uh, not a place that we knew much about when we got involved, but it's been a good opportunity for us and we've uh, come to love Ukraine quite a bit. One of the charitable projects which is already being successfully implemented is the preparation of orphans for independent life. How it works? Sure, we start while the children are still living in their orphanages or boarding schools, whatever that may be. We begin to build relationships with them and get to know them. And then the kids start coming to our day centers. Uh, they usually come in class groups to our day centers and they have the opportunity to learn life skills, things like cooking and cleaning, how to use a budget. Some of the life skills they'll need to take care of themselves after they're, uh, they've already graduated from the institution. Uh, and then we begin, to, we continue to work with them once they're hopefully going to trade schools. Uh, we encourage them with their studies. We try to help them with uh, any of the life little problems that arise. We try to help them work through them uh, and just give them a support system so they can be successful, so they can make it to be uh, productive young adults. You are working with children who have difficult fates. Surely there were many bright life stories. Can you tell us a story that was remembered and would illustrate how the program helps? Sure. Uh, there's a young man in Zaporozhye that uh, I would say is a great success story of ours. Uh, we got to know him when he was probably 14 years old. He was uh, living in one of the local boarding schools, uh, but he didn't have much family to help him. Uh, and he began visiting and getting very involved with one of the families that works with us. Uh, he actually ended up living with that family after he graduated from the uh, institution. Uh, and he bonded very much with Marina, the, the mother of that family. Uh, and they spent a lot of time cooking together. And through that experience, she actually encouraged him to go to culinary school. He's going through culinary school right now. He's doing very well. As a matter of fact, uh, this summer, he's actually been doing his practicals and working in a restaurant. And it's just, uh, to me, when I look at him, he's a perfect example of what can happen if these children have a little bit of support system in their lives, someone to uh, rely on them, someone to be a, uh, a solid family for them. We really see these kids with, uh, with connections uh, be able to, to be quite successful, to go to school, to finish their school and become productive citizens in their country. Actually, you need money and source to organize all of this. How do you afford it? Uh, that's Christy and I, it's one of our major roles is funding the organization. As I mentioned, we want uh, PHA to be a Ukrainian work, not an American work. So a large part of Christy and I's role is enabling uh, the Ukrainians to serve and a large part of that is funding. So we do lots of different things. We uh, do partner with lots of churches in the U.S. that help fund this work. Uh, but we also partner with a lot of individuals. We have some dinners every year that are big fundraisers for us. Uh, we have a 5K run every year, and this year we're having our first fishing tournament uh, that's actually being uh, put on by some friends of PHA as an opportunity to raise some funds. Uh, but we also apply for grants and uh, just to get funding through a lot of different sources. A lot of people uh, partner with us in this work. You and your wife are members of the Rotary Club College Station. Yes. How does your club and other Rotarians support your projects? 
Well, Chris and I have been members of the College Station Rotary Club since the first of the year, so uh, we haven't been involved super, super long, although my father was a Rotarian, so I grew up around Rotary and uh, was very familiar with their work. So right now, our club has been very supportive of us. They've been very encouraging of our work, and uh, hopefully someday that'll grow into maybe some kind of a partnership. We would love to see uh, an opportunity for us to do international works with the clubs here in Texas as well as Ukraine. So we hope that's something that grows into a bigger opportunity to get the uh, Rotary involved in this work. And a little bit about the plans. What are they? Sure. Our plans for the future, uh, you know, we started our work in Zaprosia and uh, it took us a couple years to get everything pretty well established there uh, and get things working on a day-to-day -day basis like we wanted them to. And, and that's happening now. So about a year and a half ago, we expanded into Poltava. Uh, and are going through those same steps again, those same processes of uh, establishing the work there, although it's already going quite well. Uh, so I hope in the future, we hope in the future, that we'll have the opportunities to uh, serve in some more towns. As those opportunities and resources arise, the right people available to meet the right needs, we hope to expand into more cities in Ukraine. Thank you so much for your great work. This is a wonderful, good deed. And it seems that for you and your wife, this is much more than work. Absolutely. Uh, before we got involved in this, we had very traditional jobs. My wife was a high school math teacher and I was a construction superintendent. This is much more than a job to us. It's something we feel very passionate about. Uh, our faith dictates that we be involved in things like this, that we uh, help those in need. And uh, we've just had a great opportunity to do this, this work and we've uh, grown to love a lot of the kids we work with. The Ukrainian staff that we work with are great, great friends of ours now. And uh, it's been a great opportunity to be involved and see kids making right decisions and, and moving in positive paths in their lives. Thank you for the interview. Good luck, Chris. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. Stay with us to learn more firsthand about the Rotarians worldwide. Subscribe our channel because sharing is caring and join the multiplying of good deeds.